All right, great, everybody. It's man, be ready. Make this rather quick. This video is going to be this is a daily discussion in reference to uh, what Maryland is trying to do in reference to passing uh, the law that's going to not allow carry permit holders in the state of Maryland to legally acquire their carry permit to carry their farms in public places. Um, Maryland must believe that because we have more care permit holders that there's going to be more crime. That's not the case. Yes, there have been some car break-ins, um, but a point that the gentleman from MSI made, and you guys can find that the the uh, the live or the recording on YouTube um, in reference to what the conver what conversation is being is taking place. I'm, I'm, I may post it and probably just go ahead and um, link it in, in my video. Maryland does not want people who have a care permit to carry in public places. What does that mean? Anytime you leave your house, you're technically in public, right? A uh, gentleman. K and K father, he asked for my perspective. He saw Colin Wall's video and he wanted a perspective from, from me, I guess, because I'm I live in Maryland. I'm an instructor. Most people would agree that the crimes being committed for the most part are not done by people who bust their butt, spent money for training, spent money uh, for fingerprints, spent money, uh, you know, and time to go to the course and uh, complete the training and shoot the qualification. Uh, interviews with state police, paperwork. We, we no, we're, we're, we're not we're not the we're not the culprits here. But Merlin's trying. I guess Merlin says, well, we have more curb from holders. There's a higher chance that stuff will happen. Let's limit what they can carry. That's dumb. I carry a gun for personal protection purposes, and I'm not saying that nothing is likely to happen in my house. But I don't need a curb from to carry a gun in my house. So I did what I did. I went through all the rigmarole so I can carry it legally. That's why I have mad respect for all the states, the 25 states that uh, went ahead and allowed their states to be permitless carry. Right? You know, I, I shouldn't have to pay a tax to the throne so that I can carry something that I purchased legally. And, you know, but it is what it is. Granted, that's a whole different argument discussion because there are people who should not have guns. If you're mentally, if you're crazy, if, you know, whatever. But, so, moving forward, because even there are still bad people who illegally have guns that are not out to do harm. They just had an issue, and they want to make sure they can protect themselves, but rant over. So, back to the discussion. Um, but MSI made a pretty great point. I believe it went something to the nature of, if you limit where curb permit holders can carry, what you're going to do in public places these people are going to lock their, they're going to leave their guns in their vehicle, right? So they're going to leave their house. Maybe they're going to the swimming pool. Maybe they're going to a friend's house. Maybe they're going to the store, um, China, wherever. They're going to be like, damn, okay, Maryland made this rule. I can't take my gun in public places. I'm going to leave my gun in the car. Whether it's under the seat, not a good idea. In a glove box lock, easy to break open. Well, even I have a, um, a, a, a little, a, a, a safe, a little safe, right? that has a thick gauge wire that, you know, you can wrap around something like a seat or something in your vehicle or, or whatever. That's fine. If you're in a grocery store for about 30, 45 minutes to an hour, as some people do, that is a nice deer stand. Sorry, guys. If you're if you're in um, uh, in the store or grocery shopping, like some people do for me, about 30, 45 minutes an hour, I'm sure a nifty or pretty handy thief can come in and get some heavy duty uh, gauge uh, uh, wire snips or even a bolt cutter cut the lock cut the wire and gain access to um, you know your lock box so they got to get into your vehicle and I don't think it'll take long either but we as law abiding citizens we do what we can to make sure that we safeguard our items because you know that's what you're supposed to do but with the average person they're going to just take the chance of leaving in the vehicle not a good idea. So by default, this rule is going to put more guns in the hands of criminals because you're disarming the people who would likely have their gun on them and are no longer going to have it on them when they go to public places. And then criminals are going to know this, right? Criminals are going to be following people, watching people, paying attention. So I don't think this is a good idea. I hope this gets shut down. I was talking to a gentleman yesterday and um, states have tried in other places and, and, and you know, some places have been shot down. But I think New Jersey, um, this is something that they're doing from the Bruin, the Bruin decision. Not a wise idea. So, with that being said, guys, 
call your politicians, call your political critters, you know, contact these folks who turn the doorknobs with their butthole and um, let them know that you're not in favor of this new potential law and that this potential law will do no good for legally for people who carry guns legally. OK, so please make sure you like, share, subscribe. Um, it's your man, MD Ready. I hope you guys are safe. You can see I'm at the show gas station. Yeah, I'm a little low. Got to Got to refuel. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless. Take care. Peace. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, MD underscore ready. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Let me know how you feel about carrying in public. Let me know if you think that it's it's okay if people can't carry in public or the general purpose of you having your permit is so that you can carry in the public without anybody knowing. God bless you guys. Take care.